Welcome back to Trying Vegan with Mario. On this episode, we're gonna make chickpeas the star ingredient of the day. Look at these magical little beans right here. They are incredibly high in protein and they are very versatile. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a simple hummus. We're gonna be roasting them into a popcorn style snack. And then my special guest, Dr. Joel Furman, world renowned nutrition expert and doctor is gonna come into my kitchen and show me how to make his chickpea burger recipe. Now you may have heard that eating more vegan food can be better for your health and it could be better for the environment, but I'm here to make sure it tastes good. And this is a very special episode because it's brought to you by Thrive Market. Now, what I love about Thrive Market is you can order an incredible selection of healthy organic ingredients directly to your home. Now, let's see what's in this box. This box is full of good stuff. Love it, a great start. What do we have here? We got our, we got some organic quinoa that I'll be using in some, some recipes later. Cumin, one of my favorite spices. And here we have our organic chickpeas, also called garbanzo beans. Now, one of the things I love about Thrive Market is they cut out the middleman. You can get everything in this box and you can get everything on their website for about 25 to 50% off. So it, it inspires me to get a little creative in the kitchen and explore other different types of ingredients because it's so affordable and they just deliver it to your door. They make it super simple. One thing that I have to note is that Thrive Market prices are already 25 to 50% off. But if you go to thrivemarket.com slash Mario, you can get an additional 25% off. You get free shipping and a one month free membership. So go check that out and get a little extra creative in your kitchen this month. Inspire yourself with some unique ingredients like, like cumin or dive into these garbanzo beans right here. So that is what we're doing today. And stay tuned because when we come back, we're gonna get working on a simple hummus recipe. For my first chickpea recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a super simple hummus that was inspired by my guest, Dr. Joel Furman's cookbook, The Eat to Live Cookbook. This is a staple, everybody should know how to make a quick hummus. It's one of those things where you build a base with, right here we have five ingredients, and then you can get a little bit creative from there. You could, you could add some spices and some extra seasonings. You could add some chipotle to add out a different type of flavor, but hummus is really easy, really basic, just five ingredients going into the blender. We're gonna start with our chickpeas. I got 15 ounces of chickpeas right here. Add those into the blender. Okay. Then a half teaspoon of cumin. It's got a nice earthy texture to it. Now we got one garlic clove minced, three tablespoons of unhulled sesame seeds, two tablespoons of lemon juice. We got one and two. That's gonna cut through those other flavors and, and lemon is one of those seasonings that really brings out the flavors of other types of ingredients. So it's like one of those little, little cheats that I like to add to a lot of my recipes because it just enhances a lot of flavors. So it's gonna bring out the cumin, it's gonna, it's gonna bring out that sesame and it's gonna bring together all, the, all those delicious flavors that we got in here. Just, just five ingredients though. All right, let me blend this up. All right, that's it. Just, just a couple of seconds to blend together this hummus. Look at that, that is a perfect texture. We're just gonna add this to a bowl. And this is a healthy snack. This is one of those things where, you know, you could eat it as a snack. Sometimes I find myself eating all the hummus and make a little bit of a meal out of it but it's healthy, it's got a lot of fiber, it's got seeds for protein, it's got cumin, which has a lot of powerful antioxidants to it, so it's gonna give your body a lot of nutrition that your body is craving, so healthy snack. I'm always looking for little healthy tricks and little snacks that you could just keep around your house and, and always make sure that you are eating well, so. Here we have our super simple hummus from the Eat to Live cookbook. Chickpeas, high in protein, high in fiber, organic from Thrive Market, a uh, super accessible snack right here. 
So when we come back, Dr. Joel Furman's gonna join me in my kitchen and he's gonna show me some of his favorite healthy, quick, easy chickpea recipes. Welcome back. We just made that simple hummus. We got a nice creamy texture from our chickpeas, but now it's time to give you guys a nice roasted crispy chickpea snack that you could leave out and leave around your house all the time. And again, this is a recipe from Dr. Joel Furman and his Eat to Live cookbook. So again, I'm on this mission to make healthy, fast, easy, convenient snacks that you can just leave around your house at all times. And using chickpeas is one of the best ways to do it. So I'm so excited to welcome Dr. Joel Furman. Welcome to my kitchen. Hey Mario, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Yes, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you again talking about fast, easy, healthy recipes. So can you talk me through a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today? Well, we're just taking some really fast and easy recipes, no work, make great tasting food, and you know, people wanna have that crunch. They don't wanna feel like everything is smooth. They wanna have something hard to chew on. And I love to make like, you know, take, like even make a, a jerky from the, from the chicken. A jerky from this right here? A jerky from this. Really? All right. Make a, a tofu tomato sauce jerky, make it hard as a rock and a dehydrator. But this, right. but anybody can do these hard chickpeas. They're crunchy. As we call it chickpea popcorn, but they're really like a chickpea okay. nut. It's a crunch. Okay. Really healthy, low glycemic. It has a nice mixture of carbohydrate, protein, very low in fat, great for dieters, oh. great for weight loss, great for people who want to build muscle. Too. Yeah, all right. We're building muscle out here. We're trying to get in the best shape of our lives in my kitchen. That's right. That's yeah. the goal. All right. I saw you, like, you're, you're, this, you're a ski man. You're in pretty good shape, right? So this, oh, this food is definitely contributing to it. Feeling oh, yeah. good. You want to keep young and enjoy your life. And this is beans are the secret to a long life. All the blue zones, all the areas of the world with the most oh, centenarians, longest with people, always eat beans because beans slow the life, slow your metabolic rate, really long your lifespan, keep you young. Wow. So, so just to just to reiterate that, the blue zones are the places where people live the longest lives, correct? That's correct. And in those places, a lot of times they're eating a lot of beans? Every, every blue zone eats a lot of beans. Oh my gosh, all right, so. These are the food linked, <laughs> most carefully linked in the scientific literature with life extension. Wow, okay, all right, and, and just to add to this, you're, you're an expert nutritional researcher, so th this man right here is the man to trust, and he has the experience, and he's done a lot of the research to give us this types of information, because that's what I'm trying to do on my shows. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to learn as much as I can. I wanna bring in experts to teach me about the best ways of eating healthy and live longer. So we got our garbanzo beans. I'm glad I made this the theme of the episode. Let's uh, let's get working on this recipe. Okay, so simple. So just put the beans into a bowl, we'll mix some spices right. with it. And you know, you leave it, don't take all the liquid off the beans, leave them a little moist like this. All right. Because cool. those, that liquid has nutrients in it and also helps the spices stick to it. Okay. So we're gonna put in the spices, obviously. We have some cumin, right. oregano, um, garlic powder, and um, the cayenne. cayenne pepper. Yes. Right, yes. Pepper. So we're gonna put that in there. All right, I, I love all these seasonings right here. What I do right a lot here. of times is I take a, um, I just put it in like a, uh, um, a plastic bowl with a lid and I put the lid okay. on and I just shake it up. Okay. <laughs> I just shake it up and it gets mixes it up a little bit. Oh, that'd be fun with like place. little kids playing yeah, around in the kitchen. Just shake it up. All right, so we're gonna whisk it up. We just got beans and just a couple of seasonings right there. Yeah, this, is, this is quick and easy cooking right here and this is healthy and I just learned that this might even help me live a little bit longer. So I'm, I'm a big fan of this recipe you're bringing into my kitchen. It's also, you call it your Italian popcorn, right? Like, all right. Yep, that's right. All right I, I got an Italian background, so I'm excited to experiment with this recipe uh, on my dad's side of the family and see what he thinks about this right here. So people love to have this crunchy, you know, the crunch of this. So the trick now is to cook it on a low temperature for a long time. Okay. So you, you can cook it at around 300 for, you know, for 40, 50 minutes, but I actually prefer to cook it like 275 for sometimes even for 90 minutes to two hours. Okay. Sometimes, you know, 275 for, for two hours gives you, doesn't make them too brown. You cook okay. too fast, you don't want to get brown, but okay. it just gets some nice, hard and crunchy. Okay, all right, all right. So we, we got our beans, we got our seasonings, we got our long living recipe right here. And we're just gonna throw it in the oven for 275 for about two hours. And if you wanna speed up the process, it'll be a little bit of a different texture. You can do that too. But, but you could do that. You could do 350 for like 40 minutes and you're gonna get, you're still gonna get a quick, delicious snack. So, all right, we got these prepared. Let's just throw them in the oven. And when we come back, we're gonna have a delicious, healthy chickpea snack. And we're just gonna leave around the house and be enjoying every single day. All right, stay tuned. All 
All right, look at this. Our, They're done, huh? Yes, our popcorn chickpeas are ready. Let's try some. All right, yeah, let's try some. Look at, the, look at this texture right here. All right, I'm just gonna kind of squeeze into one. They got a nice little crunch. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, you call this popcorn in your, your Eat to Live cookbook, so we gotta take, make sure it's popcorn inspired. Take this to the movies with you. <laughs> take this to the movies with you, I like it. There you have it, we got the chickpea popcorn. And when we come back, we're gonna start working on some chickpea burgers that I know you got a great recipe for as well. That's right, it's the secret to a long life is to, ma is to make your bean burgers and put beans on your salad and eat beans as your major source yes. of carbohydrates, one of the secrets to a longer life. Yes, all right, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep you guys being healthy and living longer when we come back with some chickpea burgers. Welcome back. We are going to start working on our chickpea burger recipe. Can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration for this recipe and what we can expect? Well, the main inspiration is that I love chickpeas. <laughs> I, I do too, I love it. I love these guys right here. Also, also called garbanzo beans, same thing. Big fan, all right. Okay, so you're just plain, but when you're making a burger like this, they're really great. And also, you know, anything you put with onion is gonna be great for you. Okay. And people don't recognize onion by itself is a powerful anti-cancer food. Really? Onion is, onion is one of the most powerful anti-cancer foods you can eat, especially red onion. And you know, when you chop the red onion, you know how it makes your eyes tear when you cut yeah, onion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's forming sulfenic acid and these organosulfide okay. compounds that fight, they have show between 50 and 88% reduction of all common cancers. Wow. People eating a quarter cup of onion a day, dramatically lower wow. risk of cancer. Okay, all right, just a quarter cup of onion, so. That's right, you know, a nutritarian diet includes a full Look portfolio of all those powerful anti-cancer foods, the seeds, the greens, the beans, the nuts, the onions, the mushrooms, the berries, you put all these foods in your diet, and that's how we beat cancer. All right, red onion on everything, so that's a core ingredient in this recipe. Uh, now what are we gonna do first for this recipe? Well, first we're gonna mash the, I guess, mash the chickpeas. All right. Mix, mash the chickpeas, Boom. put in the spices, mix them with oats. You know, chickpeas. So chickpeas. You know, leave, don't drain them, don't rinse them. That, that juice they come in is gold. It has those yeah, nutrients in them. Yeah. And, and you, why, add, why drain them and then add water when you have the nutrients right in that, the, um, that That's amazing. Liquid. Yeah, I love that. Chickpeas are so versatile. Yeah. And, and hopefully we could bring you on for one of my recipes because I like to use what's, what's called that aquafaba. That aquafaba, is that, yeah. that liquid that could be turned into some incredible cheeses and creams and Loose sauces. And oh my God, you never want to get rid of that. Don't waste that chickpea uh, liquid. No, save, it save the chickpea liquid. Liquid. All right, so, so we got some chickpeas. Bit, okay. I'm gonna start mashing these. So we got these chickpeas mashed up pretty well. Up, putting a couple now we're gonna add of cashew butter. In all there. right, two tablespoons of cashew butter. And what I love about this cashew butter is, you know, sometimes it's hard to find uh, cashew butter, organic cashew butter. It's a super expensive thing. I'm lucky I had Thrive Market ship this to me and it was, it was way more affordable. So it's, it's tough. Sometimes eating healthy, a lot of people are telling me it, it's pretty expensive, but we got these fast food genocide recipes. We got the Eat to Live cookbook and we got some good resources to make eating healthy fun and easy. It, it I know, love it's, it. It's not really more expensive. I priced it out of the book. And the fast food really? restaurant. Really? Compared a fast there, food restaurant to my nutritarian that's restaurant. That's all in there. It's all in a the price the comparison. The price comparison is in there. All right. And then you don't I challenge all of you to check out this book. The next person that tells me eating healthy is expensive, expensive, fast food genocide. You eat more volume, you feel filled up. You're not getting eating a food that's addicting and makes you into a food. And, and makes you eat more food. It makes you eat more food. Oh. Makes you crazy. Makes you insane. The oh, food is addicting. I love it. Yes. It lowers your intelligence. So oh. we're talking here about eating real food that tastes great and you don't spend that money on medical bills. You nope. don't miss work. And you're more productive, you're more intelligent, you're more creative because you're eating right. Oh, all okay, right, I love it. Okay, We're now looking we good. Put zucchini and the onion. All right, there. zucchini and onion. You Just keep adding in this goodness. I'm gonna put the half a cup of onion, half a cup of zucchini. Right, We're what gonna do we add got? the hemp seeds in there too. Right, hemp seeds. We're gonna keep mixing that. All right. And then we're gonna put little spices in there. So here we're adding typical spice for a burger, garlic powder, cumin, and a little and a little pepper. So I'm gonna put the garlic powder and cumin. It's a little uh -huh. much pepper there. So garlic powder I love, a little oh, bit of, just a little bit of pepper, not all that pepper. It. Cumin's good. You can use a little turmeric in this too if you want. Turmeric Ooh, I love turmeric, all right. Okay, that's probably enough. Cumin, lots of antioxidants in there. All right, so we got most of these ingredients. What do we gotta add? I know we got some oats right here. We're gonna add like a cup of oats and All a right. little bit of um, red wine vinegar. All right, cool. So I'll let you start with that. So I'm gonna add a little red wine vinegar on that. About a, about a tablespoon. 
Okay. Cool. So that's about a tablespoon right cool. there. Cool. We got a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, and then I'm going to add about a cup of these oats. So really make it stick together. All right. We got. All right, now we add about a cup of those oats. That's going to help it stick together. We're looking good. Do we want to add any of this ketchup to this, or? You could, yeah. You want right. a little ketchup? Yeah, well, the moisture is going to make the yeah make help the them bind together a little bind, bit better. Bind it really nicely. Yeah, so we'll add like a, add a squirt of ketchup to it. Right, and we're going to put a little more ketchup probably with the on the burger itself once it's done. Uh, yeah, exactly. With the red the, onion. Oh yeah. And, and the you know, little lettuce. On oh yeah, I'm going to be serving these up to everybody. I want to create the authentic burger experience as much as we can. Um, but you're going to learn to love this healthy food once you start cutting out some of those unnecessary fats and meats from your diet. You, your cravings are going to change. It happened to me. I'm on this journey to learn more about eating healthy plant-based foods and eating less oils and eating less uh, unnecessary processed fats and processed meats. And I've noticed my, my taste buds have completely transformed themselves. I, I crave these types of delicious chickpea burger foods. So oh, this is my new fast food. All right. Gonna be out there living life and having fun. Oh yeah! And this food, of course, you know, it gives you that muscular strength without the added fat on your body. You stay lean and mean, yes. youthful yes. and vigorous your whole life. Oh. And your diet is rich in these natural whole food plants. Yeah, we got a rich and healthy diet, and mm -hmm. and I'd love to hear from you a little bit. So we're talking a lot about all these health benefits. Now you've actually been able to apply these through your practice. So can you talk to me a little bit about your experience of working with people who might be sick and overweight and the transformations you've seen? Right. What I'm saying is that nutritional excellence is a hundred times more powerful than medication. Oh. Medications reduce your risk a little bit. They don't wipe away your diabetes, you become non-diabetic. That's what a nutritarian diet does. They don't wipe away your blood pressure. You never need blood pressure medication for the rest of your life. They don't wipe away your depression, wipe away your psoriasis. No. So your skin clears. And people with lupus and scleroderma and ulcerative colitis get well from a, from a diet rich in nutrients. Here's what I'm saying right now, is that here's the fountain of youth, and that is moderate caloric restriction in an environment of micronutrient excellence. You can't achieve micronutrition excellence without what this full portfolio of natural plants. It gives you the wide symphony of micronutrients you need to fight disease. And when you do that, your diseases melt away because these diseases are the result of the standard yeah. American diet, which is so deadly. Yeah, and, and don't even get them in the first place. You know, I'm lucky enough no to effects. get onto this early. You know, all you young 20 year olds out there, start now. Why, why get yourself into that mess? You start with this chickpea burger, it's gonna change your life. No heart attacks, no strokes, no cancers, no dementia. Oh. You can wipe out these chronic diseases in America. In America. We, can have, we can change our society, we can, we, have, we can win the war on cancer right now. We have the oh. information. These advances in nutritional science make this possible today and to not take advantage of it is insane. All right, now look at that. that. This looks like a good texture for us to start shaping these into some burgers, right? I'm dying to get my hands in there to start forming some All burgers. All right, let's do it. I got a tray right here. Let's plop a little on there. Yeah, and we're, we get a little messy and have a little fun in my kitchen. That's okay. All right, there you go, this guy. <laughs> I brought the right guy into my kitchen, just like that. Right. All right, <laughs> it works. <laughs> Make, make sure you have fun with your cooking, especially if you're bringing guests into your kitchen or you're cooking with your family. Uh, something I found is cooking with little kids, like if you can get them to have their hands on the food a little bit more, they build a little bit of a stronger relationship with it, they have, <laughs> have a little bit more fun. All right, so our burgers are looking nice and ready and we're just gonna throw these in the oven, cook them for about 20 minutes on 350, then we, we flip them over and we'll cook them for about 10 minutes after that. All right. All right, welcome back. Our chickpea burgers have been cooking. I think they're ready. Let's get them. Let's, let's grab these burgers and let's try them out. Ooh, oh, it smells amazing in here. Take a, take a look at this. All right, they, starting to get a nice little crisp on the outside, get a, get a little close up. I like the texture that I'm seeing right here. You know, this, this looks, you can see the onions in there, bringing out some colors. You can see they're nice, well mixed together, nice, nice round patties. 
Let's, uh, we got some nice toppings right here. We got our pitas, they got some lettuce, tomatoes, red onions. I say, let's, let's just have some fun and make some burgers. All right, let's eat. Let's eat. All right, I got my pita in there. Okay, let's take a bite. That's good. That is good. The flavor of chickpea. A little tomato sauce of ketchup and onion is really good together. Yeah, I was gonna say, ketchup adds like a little bit of a sweetness to it. The tomatoes do add a little bit of a sweetness to it. The, the onion kind of brings out those other flavors, I feel like, and, and you gotta have lettuce on a classic burger, you know, it just adds that nice refreshing touch to it. Mmm, all right. That is good. That's a great uh, celebration of chickpeas. You know, we got these amazing chickpea burgers right here. Earlier I made a hummus that was inspired by your cookbook. We did these amazing little popcorn chickpea bites right here that I'm, I'm so glad we got a few left. You know, we ate most of them, but I'm gonna leave these around my countertop and be eating these all the time. And then finally, these incredible burgers. So I was wondering if you could kind of just remind us, what, what are the health benefits that we're getting right here? You know, wh why should somebody bother to eat this besides the fact that it tastes amazing? Well, chickpeas are, and these beans are very unique. First of all, they're high in protein and carbohydrate. Okay. But all the carbohydrate doesn't come into the body. Okay. Because part of that carbohydrate turns into fat. Okay. The bacteria turn yep. it into short chain fatty acids, but the bacteria convert it so far down in the digestive tract that if the fat passes through the toilet bowl, sucking calories out of the body. Okay. So you think you're getting a certain amount of calories, your appetite is turned down. In other words, you you don't feel like eating anything else. Yeah, yeah. You're satisfied for a long time, but you, all those calories really didn't come into your body. They went to the toilet bowl. Okay, gotcha. All so, right, so and this also is the calories absorb so slowly that it doesn't require insulin. Okay. So because you're not requiring much insulin, really? you don't store the fat on your body either. Really. So it gives you more protein, keeps you lean, sucks fat outside of the toilet bowl. Wow. And it keeps there's no much not much insulin reduction required. Wow. That's incredible. All right, so. Something that's high protein, it's not gonna add a lot of fat to your body. It's gonna be healthy, it's gonna help sustain you. And for me on my vegan cooking show, I'm looking for nutrient dense, healthy foods that, that taste good. Cause I'm trying to you know, convince some of my less healthy friends to come on this journey with me. And this, I gotta say guys, this is an incredible recipe. I'd highly recommend you guys making this and, and make it for some of your friends and family. You know, Somebody that you might be trying to help inspire to go on this journey towards nutrition excellence. I think you truly did it with this. Uh, I just wanna thank you so much for joining me on Trying Vegan with Mario. And again, bringing in these excellent, you know, tried and true and proven recipes from your cookbooks and continuing to do what you do. So Excellent. thank you so much. Thank you. It's good food that saves lives. <laughs> good food that saves lives. I, I think that's, that's amazing. All right, so stay tuned on Trying Vegan with Mario for all my other episodes and to learn more healthy, nutritious, delicious vegan recipes. All right, let's eat. Mmm, amazing. For the full recipes from this episode and all my other episodes, visit tryingveganwithmario.com. Thanks for watching. My queen got machine gun hips, but it don't want to stay go off. If you go to thrivemarket.com slash Mario, you can get an additional 25% off. You get free shipping and a one-month free membership.